<laughs> yeah. So I feel like I have just been in the presence of the most exquisitely multifaceted, perfect beauty. Perfect beauty in what Marie Lou presented and shared with us. In a way, I would love to leave these next 45 minutes simply open as a space in which what you have set in motion in all of us could simply continue to reverberate, you know, reverberate out in growing circles, in widening circles. <laughs> I think there would, be, there would be a perfect use of the next 45 minutes. <laughs> However, um, I, I won't do that. <laughs> my, my image is that, um, first of all, the synchronicity between what you just, what you just created um, and a little sliver of practice that I want to uh, insert, really, into this landscape. It fits beautifully together, I believe. Beautifully fits together. So, uh, so maybe just a tiny, tiny haiku added to the symphony that you just created. Really. Yeah. So look, um, what I'm trying to do is, whoops, is probably impossible in, uh, in 45 minutes because I would like to, I would like to introduce you to eco arts. Now. Before I speak about it, um, I would like f for you to have an experience of eco art, so that you have a felt sense of what this, you know, what what this term actually, um, what this term, what the practices have to offer, and what this term in fact means. Yeah? So I will keep my speaking fairly limited so that I then can take you out to the land and engage in, in a, um, a creative practice of eco-arts. Mm -hmm. So, as a way of entering, um, let me first just kind of differentiate eco-arts and the whole, I mean, the, the, the palette of creative practices that are bundled in the term eco-arts. Let me first differentiate this from multimodal expressive arts, which many of you might be familiar with. You see, multimodal expressive arts are creative practices that are often used in therapeutic contexts. And they are, the intent is to allow the exploring and the expression of personal experience. And <laughs> So, by saying personal experience, um, I'm actually already also pointing out the essential difference. You see, multimodal expressive arts is really human-centered, person-centered, community-centered, human-centered. You see, uh, that's both its power and its limitation, I find. You see, um, as, as a little aside, I find that human-centered approach Towards, towards understanding who we are, as well as towards an understanding of healing, is a bit like cut flowers. They have beauty in themselves, but they are no longer generative, because they are cut off from their roots. So, in contrast to multimodal expressive arts approached and, and engaged in, in this context, as I just described, eco-arts have a very different intent. They have the intent to, to, mm, <laughs> to re rekindle, to rekindle a felt sense of our interwovenness as life form with the life of the earth. So um, I'm going to actually just read a little paragraph from a short article I wrote some time ago, because if I try to describe it now freely, it'll take longer time. So <coughs> I'm just going to read this little paragraph that illustrates, hopefully, what, what eco-arts 
is trying, well, actually, before I do this, um, so eco-arts, the medium of eco, the different media of eco-arts are actually not that important. Any, any creative expression, any, any creative medium can be in the service of this deep knowing and, and, and felt sense of the communion with earth. That's, that is the intent. So the intent of eco-arts is, um, is the essential difference to multimodal expressive arts within traditional, usual therapeutic contexts. So, and in this, um, for me personally, even though every, every creative medium can be used to enter into this felt sense, um, for me the most powerful and, and actually immediate medium is the body itself. And so, um, in this context, let me try to describe this a little bit. Because you see, <laughs> I find that, of course, we all, we all know how the, how the knowing of our interwovenness, this knowing shifts our consciousness forever. We all know this, you see. And my sense is that in addition to opening our mind to this, to this knowing and carrying it forward in this way, we have another very powerful ally, and that's the body. And through the body, this knowing is constantly through our sensory body, <laughs> sensing, yeah? This knowing is constantly regenerated. So if the text appears, there it is, okay. From deep within our perceiving, moving, sensing, feeling and imagining body arises the knowing of our intimate indwelling within the earth body. Our senses in their participatory immediacy hold the ability to evoke and deepen our affective bond with other earth communities enlivening our capacity for meaningful encounter with their living presence and awakening a sense of wonder, of delight and of gratitude. It's the living fabric of our sensing body that is exquisitely attuned to nature and invites us into immediate empathic encounter encounter, participation, and communion with the living earth. Alive in all our senses, we may begin to listen to the ancient dialogue of body and earth. And you see, the aliveness in all our senses, that is, that's the premise for eco-arts and its first expression. And so when I, in a little while, when I take you outside onto the land, um, this is what will be the first focus of our practice. We'll be bringing attention to, our, to each of our senses, to this whole symphony of perception in our senses. Because I feel, or I, yeah, I believe that um, we tend, we tend to forget that. We tend to forget that. You see, the knowing of our embeddedness, our interwovenness more than embeddedness even, the knowing is, is in our body. But, when, but only when we bring this to conscious awareness through attention can we then really, really also draw from it and bring it to fruition in much, much richer and fuller ways of being of being in the earth and with the earth. You see? So this will be the first focus of the, um, of, of the practice. Now, um, 
something that, that has always fascinated me is that uh, the senses, our, our physical senses, really are the portal to, our, to this whole universe of experiencing. Um, that we that you know our feelings, images, and so on. And here again, let me just let me just read a little paragraph. Our sensing and moving, perceiving, feeling, and imagining body, present to itself and present to the earth, is the portal into a lived knowing of the elemental communion which Merleau-Ponty calls the flesh of the world. So I find <laughs> this, this expression, the flesh of the world, is, shows the, um, this is quintessential participatory nature of being. Yeah. Um, the, one of the most immediate expressions of that, I find, is in fact breathing. You see, breathing is, is the most fundamental activity, <laughs> so to speak, of our aliveness. And breathing is, a, is the most intimate partnership between body and tree. You see, it does not exist without either one. So, so we are in every single moment an absolute expression of the interwovenness of our body with the living earth. Now, to come back to, <laughs> to, come back to this point that I was trying to stress, that the sensory body is at the same time the imaging and emotional body. So here we go. Our emotions, feelings, images, intuitive sensing and knowing, it seems to me, are the inward dimensions of our organs of perception. Inner and outer landscapes are differentiated from one another only by the most subtle, living, pulsating membrane of embodied experience. Together they, fall, they form the mutual call and response of being. This empathic attuning is the essence of the world soul and its human expression, the ecological psyche, by which I mean our primordial embeddedness in being, our human inflection within the soul of the earth. And it's also the essence of the cosmos, as it is the essence of the earth to which we belong. So this is the other aspect of eco-arts that is so, so dear to me, which is that we in fact become aware of how our senses themselves are guiding us to feelings, images, all the, all the rich dimensions that we call our experience. You see, I mean, this, this fascinates me forever. Um, we don't need to, there is so much about, about the mystery of aliveness um, that we, to which we have instant and immediate access simply by allowing our senses to be fully alive and allowing our senses to, um, to evoke, to evoke the feelings, the emotions, the images, the intuitions, which come with their own vital force, because they also, of course, belong to the earth, right? Our thoughts belong to the earth, our feelings, it's all, <laughs> it, it, it's all dimensions of the earth, right? But so, um, <laughs> it, it's such, our thinking, our, our understanding through thinking is one arc, but it is completed in, I believe, a really, really powerful way by the arc of 
the emotional, mental, imaginal experience that the senses open to us. So when we, um, in a little bit, I'm going to take you, take you to um, out there. I picked a place not too far away from here um, where I'm gui going to guide you first a bit into your senses and then we'll describe a practice. Um, let's see, how did this phrase begin? <laughs> How did this phrase begin? Oh yeah, um, so the practice really will be primarily to become aware of, of this unfolding, this unfolding texture of sensory experience and mental emotional experience which, which is evoked by remaining by remaining um, grounded in the sensory, sensory perceptions. So hopefully this will become even a little bit clearer, or maybe just a little bit clearer, <laughs> when we are out there. Okay, now let me see. There is, there is probably so much that I later will think, oh yeah, this I should have added, and this, uh, this belongs here, but for now, it's gone. So, how about for now? Um, let me take you, let's go out to the land, and in fact, let me just see for a moment how I structure this practice. Let me quickly... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Ooh, this is a large group. <laughs> okay. Um, Shall we take our, our, our books? Well, you, take, you can take your journals. It will depend on, on how much time we have. We might take it into two different expressive modalities or not. But so for now, yeah, take, take, journals. take your journals and, um, and maybe take a coat or a shawl because it might be a little cool outside. And let's go outside. <laughs> 